I used to live in an apartment, rental ones and ones which my family owned. And I know that charging an electric car in an apartment can be a real pain. That's if they even allow you to do it at all. But there's a new solution called Knox, which I learnt about at Everything Electric Australia. It's one of several solutions to make ordinary PowerPoint smart for apartment dwellers in Australia. I'll let the people from Knox explain how it works. This is not sponsored. I just want people to know of another option of how to charge their electric car for low cost in an apartment block in a way that a strata committee will hopefully not block you trying to get access to. Good luck. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. Hi, I'm Matthew from Knox. This is the uh, Knox Smart Socket. Uh, it's designed for uh, apartment buildings. It's also de designed for uh, fleet in commercial car parks. Um, the smart socket itself is a metered socket. It's a 10 amp or a 15 amp socket. Uh, the approach is you, as an EV owner, uh, have an app. You scan the QR code on the smart socket and then uh, you basically paying for your power, uh, which gets reimbursed back to the strata or the building owner. Okay. The, uh, the tariffs are based on the strata or the building's um, tariff, the energy tariff of the meter. And we take a, uh, a four cent per kilowatt um, profit, if you want to call that profit. And that uh, basically helps us to manage the product and the solution. In a strata scenario, uh, this is a good solution because you can bridge off of your common power. If you have a, an application where there is um, common power to each car park, then you can basically swap out your uh, general GPOs and then it becomes a, a metered solution for uh, EV owners. You're not uh, stealing power from the communal um, fund and uh, basically keeping your neighbors happy. As I said, it comes in a 10 or a 15 amp solution. The uh, communication options are a Wi-Fi or a, a connected LAN, uh, which connects the smart socket up to the cloud, up to our cloud, and the uh, and Bluetooth. If you're in a, a lower level car park, you can Bluetooth from your phone using the app to start the, the, the charge session itself. The solution you can scale. So for example, as I said before, if you have a car park um, that has a common power, it's already installed within the, the garage, you can obviously bridge off in, in the sense that maybe you only have uh, uh, one or four or five or 10 uh, EV owners within the building. But obviously once you start to scale that up, then the infrastructure has to become a little bit more. The system or the, the solution does have uh, a load balance um, uh, algorithm and we use that algorithm off of the static uh, values of your circuit breaker so if you are using communal uh, power um, you can basically in this sense you can have a, a number of smart charge sockets and those uh, smart sockets can be load shed or dropped and depending on who wants to charge so for example if uh, me as a resident, if I came to charge, my neighbor came to charge after that, and their neighbor came to charge after that, the circuit may not be able to support all three uh, sockets operating the, the charges at once. Uh, in the, some cases, it may only be one uh, smart point that can be operated. So we do a round robin um, session of load shedding, and that's based on uh, timing. So you can set a, a duration that, uh, uh, resident number A gets and then he swaps to resident number B and then resident number C and then it goes back to resident number A. So it's considered a, a round robin queue and what that does is it allows everybody who's trying to charge on the same circuit to get uh, the maximum amount of charge that they can throughout the night or the day uh, while everyone's trying to charge at once. The rates at which the tariff are set is set by your strata so basically we take the rates from your strata's bill from their meter. And um, we use them obviously, as I said, as a flat rate, if it's a flat rate, peak or off peak. Um, the strata is able to recoup um, costs based on the level of infrastructure that they've installed into the, um, 
into the building. So if they have to put any electrical infrastructure in to support this, then obviously they can recoup the costs, but legally they can't make any money off of it. So, so legally, uh, once the, the recuperation has happened, they have to drop that rate back down to the actual fee uh, of, the, of the energy. The four cents, as I said, is used for us to manage and obviously uh, produce, uh, develop more and more uh, products uh, for the market. Um, we take that four cents, so it doesn't matter whether you're um, a, uh, an excessive use of charging or charge very little, it's, uh, it's all down to four cents. We don't take a subscription fee. Um, we don't take a, a, um, a load balance fee or anything like that. It's just simply the four cents on uh, per kilowatt hour. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.